They say the best form of flattery is imitation. I guess in this case, Warner Brothers is flattering themselves. This movie is about a virtual world that starts with the letter O. In this virtual world, users create avatars, a digital version of yourself that you could design to become anybody or anything that you want. The main character and his best friends are experts on the platform and nothing could come between them until they meet a pretty girl. The main character experiences love at first sight and it's no surprise because he acts like he's never seen a girl before. He's extremely nervous and sweats bullets anytime he's around his lady love. When you factor in his puppy love, all is well in the digital world. It's the real world that's the problem. The home scenes are like a throwback episode of Jerry Springer. There's this one scene where the uncle gambled all the money for the family property away, and this sparks a horrible argument. I bought all these power-ups for this challenge and I lost it all. That artifact was gonna pay for the house. After all, that money you gave me funded my project every step of the way. Kids are supposed to go into the virtual world to forget about real world problems. But that all changes after the villain is introduced. The bad guy is this muscular DC character avatar looking dude. The villain has an army and has recruited the best of the best players on the platform to join him in his takeover. After the bad guy starts taking over, there's nowhere to run or nowhere to hide. The main character's real identity is discovered and this blurs the line between fake and reality since he's not able to really escape after that. In the real world, a family member is killed and the death is a direct result of the bad guy from the virtual world pulling the plug. I never would have guessed the problem inside us could cost someone their life, but that's exactly what happened. We know what you did here. This proves that he could hurt you whether or not you're online or not. One of the kids gets arrested even though the kid is innocent. The authorities start pinning bogus charges on the hero. Meanwhile, the villain is up to no good in the digital world. A war between good and evil is on the way. The tension begins when a forceful that won't allow anybody out or in is created and blocks access to the admin building. The good news is the good guys find a way to bypass the force field. But the bad news is, now they have to fight against the enemy and his evil army. Instead of fist fights, the competitors decide to squash their differences with the game. The villain is challenged to one last game and on paper, he's clearly the favorite. There's no way the hero could do this alone. The only way they could defeat him is together. The good guys team up and show little to no prejudice during the recruiting process. One of their toughest new members is the little young Asian kid. You're the world's most bad 11 year old ever. I am because I'm King Cosmo. <laughs> Funny kid. In addition to the little Asian kid, almost everyone who has ever logged onto the platform joins the good guy to take down the bad guy. The bad guy uses his secret weapon and becomes a big black giant. The fight gets intense and it's tough to tell who's winning. The bad guy has a nuclear bomb that could kill everyone and with less people to keep track of, the battle would be easier to monitor. The hero survives because he or she was given a special rare item from the guardian of the digital world and this saves his or her life. Then kaboosh. An explosion happens and all the avatars disappear. After the explosion, the hero grabs the controller and plays, and the whole entire world watches patiently as the hero tries to save the world. He cracks the code, but the game starts to cheat when all one of the characters has to do is put this key into the hole. At first, it wouldn't let him put the key in because some type of glitch. But by the end, the hero gets the job done and everyone lives happily ever after in the digital world. They live happily ever after in real life too, and the two main characters love life gets better and better as she gives him the best kiss a rated PG-13 rating could afford. Those are 24 reasons these movies are the same. You agree? Yes, no, maybe so? If not, politely share your thoughts in the comment section below and click the subscribe button for more 24 reason videos. <gasps> <laughs> Best elevator music I've ever heard.